The journey of life may not become easier as we grow older, but we do seem to understand it better as our perspectives evolve. Today, we bring you a story of a family that has a daughter who is being laughed at while being called a zombie because of the way she was born. He is called Ndai Sabje. He and his wife gave birth to a child that they also don't know what she's suffering from. They gave birth to a baby girl and named her Shadia, which is an Arabic name meaning singer or one who has a beautiful voice. And that's what they expected from their little baby. When she was still a young girl, they noticed that she was not normal at all because she wasn't crying, laughing, talking, and she also couldn't control any of her body parts. This made them so scared, and right away, they rushed her to the hospital. They thought that since they had taken her to the hospital, everything would be fine because all they knew is that if a person was sick, and they went to the hospital, they would always get treated and go back home when they are fine. Upon getting to the hospital, they found a lot of people on waiting and they took almost an entire day to get to the doctor and tell him what was happening to their baby. The doctor examined the little boy and he also considered what his parents were telling him. And then he told them that the little girl was suffering from a brain disorder and there was nothing he could do about it. And therefore, he told them that this kind of disorder that their daughter had was going to cure itself and all they had to do was just to be patient. Their baby didn't grow up like other babies because she never played, cried or anything that other babies do. And all he used to do was to sleep all day in one place. And because no sound ever came out of her, it was very hard to notice that she was around. Like parents, they have been patient and hopeful that one day, their baby will be a normal child, like the doctors told them. But that has been so difficult. And according to them, they think that it's impossible because they have been waiting for a period of 14 years since their baby was born, but nothing ever changed on her situation. They say it's more of hopeless now, and they have started thinking that what they were told by the doctor wasn't and will never be true, because it has been so long since their daughter has been this way, and they don't ever think she will be fine. Since this is her life now. At 14 years of age, Shadia still lives like a one month old baby, and this makes people living with her face a hard time. Shadia was the first baby in this village to be born with such a disorder, and her parents don't know how this came about. And since they didn't get a chance to go to school, it has been very hard for them to understand that such a disorder can happen when witchcraft is not involved. They love their little girl Shadia, besides the fact of her having a disorder, and they have never wished of letting her go, no matter what, because she is still their daughter after all, and they believe that a parent should give all the love and care they have for their children. They tried all kinds of medication that people always advised them, like taking her to a local hospital and making her bones straight, giving her local medicine and all other kinds. But nothing and totally nothing was able to change Shadia's condition. A little part of her brain still works because she knows that she is called Shadia 
and she looks at one person when they are calling her, but she cannot say anything since she's not able to, however much she is willing to. It has been so sad though, and they always look at her and imagine what she wants to say, to have, and they give it to her, which is also very hard to know whether she is contented, happy, annoyed, and even sad, according to what they have given her. Life has been going on like this for 14 years, and they can do nothing to change it, or even make it a little better, which is why they just accept it the way it is, and learn how to live with it on a daily basis. Living with Shadia has been very hard, because she cannot chew food for herself, and it's either the father or the mother that chews the food for her, and she puts it in her mouth. This makes all the other people in the society laugh at Shadia, and they always bully her and call her a zombie, like the ones they always watch in movies. Mm. This hurts his family a lot, since they keep saying that they gave birth to a zombie, while other parents give birth to children. He said that when he heard this at first, he did not know what a zombie was, and he had to go to the people that have movies and ask them to show him what a zombie was. When he saw it, it felt like his life had been broken into a billion pieces, and he had never been more sad than then. No one can take care of their child like they do, because they don't think that anyone can dare to feed him like they do, which is totally difficult, and it takes a lot of guts. Shadia does not eat all things, and she only feeds on bread, milk, and water, because other kinds of food are hard, and she cannot swallow them regardless. School is something that she and her entire family have never thought about, since she is lame, and her parents also didn't go to school during their time. They are living in a very unpleasant life because it seems to get harder and harder every day that comes and they do not even think they will be able to see the following day. All that they wish for right now, proper medical treatment and try to see if the little girl can be better than she is right now. Though they think that what she is suffering from may not be cured to a hundred percent. But she grows and gets more heavy. And what they ask for is to at least have a wheelchair to ease her movements as she still lives. Mm. He is kindly asking anyone that is watching this right now to please help his daughter before she gives up on life because she is all they got right now. We can't make it in life alone and we need help from different corners and people. We need a hand because we cannot manage most of our challenges alone. So it's a good idea to always ask for a hand when you need it. Thank you for watching Afrimax English. This is Prince. Do not forget to subscribe.